In this problem, we're given equations, and we're asked to identify the slope and y-intercept from the equations that we're given for the line. So the key is we first need slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, where m equals slope, and b equals the y-intercept. So with our first equation, we're given y equals 2 fifths x minus 1. Well, that's already in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. m, in this case, is our slope, which equals 2 fifths. b, in this case, we could rewrite this as 2 fifths x plus negative 1. So b equals negative 1, which means our, uh, our slope is 2 fifths and our y-intercept is at 0, negative 1. So the slope is 2 fifths and the y-intercept is 0, negative 1. Now we'll look at our second equation. This, unfortunately, is not in slope-intercept form. So the first thing we need to do is solve for y. Uh, by solving for y, we put this into slope-intercept form. So we'll subtract x from both sides. That gives us 4y equals negative x plus 8. Now divide both sides by 4. That gives us y equals negative one-fourth x plus 2. And now it's easier to identify in slope-intercept form. Again, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So in this case, m equals negative one-fourth and b equals 2. This means the slope is negative one-fourth and the y-intercept is zero, two. And if, if you haven't noticed from this, anytime we have b, the y-intercept is going to end up being zero, b. Zero for the x-coordinate means it's on the y-axis and then we're going uh, up or down b units depending on whether b is positive or negative. So for y equals 2 fifths x minus 1 the slope is 2 fifths, two fifths and the y-intercept is 0 negative 1 and for x plus 4y equals 8 we determine that that is equivalent to y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 2 in slope intercept form so the slope is negative 1 fourth and the y-intercept is 0 2.